Hello, my name is Amber Darby. This video is for the um, Liberty University History Course 530 on the American Christian Heritage. And today I will be discussing um, about the impact of Christianity in America's founding. Now, a lot of historians would say that um, the founding of America was not under Christianity or religious circumstances, or that they would say that the founders were not Christian but used Christian ideals. Um, however, there are many historians and many sources that can prove that religion and even Christianity played a strong part in the founding of America. Of course, it would depend on what was considered the actual founding of the United States of America. Now, also, now one example would be at the time of the actual colonization of the country. Although some people came to America for wealth or a better life, uh, many people came due to religious circumstances. The colonization of America took place during the 16th century, uh, known during the time known as the Age of Faith. During this time, people of many denominations began to flee Europe due to the Protestant Reformation, or more specifically, during the time in which the Roman Catholic Empire attempted to reform itself through what was known as the Counter-Reformation. As a result, many people began to flee to America in order to express religious freedoms. However, even those who were not trying to come to America for religious freedoms for themselves, they were also trying to offer um, new beliefs and faiths for those um, for natives and to provide it through missionaries. Another time in which that could be considered America's founding was the time of the American Revolution. Um, at this point, there were many denominations from Protestants to um, Catholics to Anabaptists. Um, even those who did not have a strong religious belief still followed, still had religious ideals, and they had um, the civil religion. Um, civil religion was a general religion sentiment to the public value or basically religious um, principles that, per that provided a glue for society. Thomas Jefferson was one of the best examples of those who would use civil, civil religion. Although he was, uh, he was himself very religious, he was also very adamant about the importance of religious freedom in America. And he would also emphasize um, his beliefs and ideals in many of his works. Um, the, for instance, um, in his work in the Declaration of Independence, he begins by, um, with these two sentences. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bonds which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitled them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The, another book that was, another work that was also used at the time of the American Revolution was the Bible. In fact, um, the Bible was the most quoted book at the time of the Revolution, um, especially when the people of the faith used it as an act of resistance against King George and the, in, in the British Empire. Um, the, in fact, the verse that they used the most was Acts 5.29. But Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. 
And so whatever time was considered the official founding of the United States of America, it has been proven with many beliefs, many sources, and many examples that, a, that religion, and more importantly Christianity, had a major influence in what was to be um, its founding of the country. Thank you.